वंदे पन्नक भूषण शशिधर वंदे पशूना पति वंदे सूर्यशिषा वन्ने नयन वंदे मुकुंद प्रिय वंदे भक्तजन आश्रय चरद वंदे भक्तजन आश्रय चरद वंदे शिव शंकर फ्रेंड्स राजयोग इज विल पवर राजयोग इज डिसेसिव नेचर राजयोग इज डिटर्मिनेशन राजयोग इज फर्मनेस ऑफ द माइंड राजयोग इज द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ योर माइंड राजयोग इज योर मास्टरी ओवर द माइंड इट्स रॉयल एंड we suppose ourselves to have confidence who does not have the confidence everybody has the faith we are sure we will live tomorrow day after tomorrow day after tomorrow and we have the confidence that we will go to the dining hall confidence is hidden in every one of us faith is latent in every one of us we believe in our sense that to believe when it is strengthened rajyoga when the faith made you firm it is rajyoga when the confidence is to remain unshaken it's rajyoga all the traits are available with us all the good qualities are available with us the only thing is sometimes they become a little weak when they are weakened there must be a deliberate application to strengthen the weakened parts and that is our practice of yoga raj yoga is nothing but a firmness determination arjun has a right on the back of the with the firmness to fight with the determination to defeat with the strength of mind to have success with the confidence that he will be victorious but it is shaken it is weakened theoretically emotionally intellectually he is confident but when he comes to the practicality down to the earth when he is on the back the field that confidence is shaken why it is shaken there are hundred reasons it may be sentiment it may be attachment it is may be infatuation it may be more high may be a indulgent love for the parents grandparents teachers etc the reasons may be hundred our will power is weakened temporarily that temp transient weakness is to be overcome all of us experience we are determined to wake up at 4 o'clock at 4 o'clock when the alarm time is gives the ring we are weak our determination is weak and we stop the alarm continue to sleep last night before going to bed i was determined before going to the bed i was determined but when the bell rings it is practical down to the earth and then it is weakened then only we require boosting our energy is to be increased that is the practice of raj yoga now krishna tells mr arjun you were very strong mahabaho you man of very strong hands very strong parts very strong intellect how is it you have suddenly become weak you require an injection in the ramayana all the people have reached the southern most peak from there they have to fly to lanka to find out the whereabouts of sita nala neela angala jambavan anuman all the people have arrived now who is to plunge who is to leap who is to jump 
Angada says, I'm sorry, I can go, I cannot come back. Jambavan says, once upon a time I was able to fly, now I am old, I cannot. My confidence is shaken. My confidence is less. One after the other, they estimate the confidence levels and their practical application. Ultimately, nobody is able to come forward to take a leap or jump towards Lanka. But everybody was talking, we should go, we should go, we should go. Theoretically, we have. <coughs> Practically, we do not have. Then, Jamawan, the senior most, took the B-complex injection. He started giving the boost to Anjaneya. The morale is to be boosted. The latent strength is to be roused. The talent is to be brought to the surface. The energy is to be enhanced. Then Jamawan says, Mr. Hanuman, you are not an ordinary boy once upon a time. Looking at the sun, you mistook it for a fruit and you leaped to the sky and you actually touched the sun with your lips. That's why your face is burnt. Have you forgotten that? Your father, Vayudeva, is known for his impetuosity, his vigor, his vitality, his ability to jump anywhere, go anywhere, very fast. What happened to you, you the son of Vayudeva? He went on speaking, 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 and then Hanuman was raising, 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 growing, 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 and he took the cosmic form, very large, very huge, magnanimous heart, magnificent personality, and he took it. Similarly, here also, in our lives, we are lazy to walk. And a particular place, suddenly a snake is seen. The person who is gently walking, slowly walking, looking at the snake, jumps. Where is the energy coming from? It is latent. It is hidden. Somebody is to boost our energy. Instill energy. It is already there. It is only to be enhanced. That is Rajyoga. Krishna says, you have the mind. Mind was once upon a time strong. Now it has become weak. Master it. Control it. Asamsayam Mahabaho. No doubt. Samsaya means doubt. Asamsayam means no doubt. Mahabaho Arjun. There is no doubt about what to say. Chanchalam hi manah Krishna. Manas manaha. Oh Krishna. Chanchalam, it is moving. It is not steady. And this moving mind is to be controlled. It's very difficult. Mano durnigraham. Nigraham means to control. It is very hard to control the mind. Control the instincts, impulses. It is its very nature. Krishna says, Asam say you no doubt, my boy. It's true. It's very, very difficult to control the mind. How about after all his mind you try to understand? Abhyasena tu kaunteya vairagyena chakrityate. There are two ways. The uncontrollable mind the moving mind can be controlled, can be arrested by two ways. Number one, practice. Abhyasa means practice. Many people come to Prashanti, foreigners especially. They were never accustomed to sitting like this. They find it very difficult to bend the knee. First they sit on the chair, next they sit on the step. Slowly the foot is taken up. By the time they complete the YAC course, they are very comfortable in Parmasana. The person who came unable to bend the knee is able to sit in Parmasana gradually. 
steadily, slowly, methodically, step by step, you are trained to sit in a particular posture. Similarly, mind can be put to practice. What practice? Silence it. For that, you should understand the nature of the mind. Mind is a bundle of thoughts. It's a bundle of feelings. Sea is a collection of drops of water. Straight line is a collection of points. Point after point after point, if you put them in an order, it is a straight line. If you want, you go back, see the computer, find a straight line, zoom it, and you will find point after point after point after point. Remove the points, straight line disappears. Sea is full of water drops. Remove the drop after drop after drop. There is no sea at all. Similarly, mind has no existence of its own. It is nothing but a collection of thoughts. Thought after thought after thought you remove, mind does not stay. When the mind is absent, we are happy. When you wake up in the morning, we feel fresh. Why? Mind was absent for about 10 hours or 9 hours or 8 hours in the night. Body is the same. Daytime, same body. Nighttime, same body. But mind was active during the day. It was full of thoughts during the day. In the sleep, mind is absent, thoughts are absent, we feel fresh. Here in Prashant Kutir, we try to give that meditation wherein mind is lulled, mind is silenced, thoughts are made absent. Therefore, when the mind is quiet, you will have the mastery over the mind. Mind gives you, or the absence of the mind makes you happy. We feel fresh. Krishna therefore says, Abhyasena to count here. Slowly practice. Vasistha Maharshi gives the definition. He says, Mana Prasamana Upaya. Slow, slow, slow. By doing the thing slowly, we enjoy the sweetness of it. By doing it very fast, we miss the happiness of it. On the highway, when you drive your vehicle very, very fast, there are so many people ahead of you. There are so many vehicles behind you. You go on overtaking, overtaking, overtaking. What is it you miss? You miss the beautiful scenery on either side of the road. All your concentration is on overtaking the front fellow. There will be another fellow. There will be another fellow. How long do you overtake? How long can you be on toes? You are always on toes. You are always overtaking. And we do not have the happiness of it, peace of it. Enjoy the beauty. In any cinema, when the heroine is first to be introduced on the screen, does he show the full person of the heroine? Never. The cameraman slowly takes the camera from the feet to the calf muscle, to the thighs part, to the nabhi mandala, and to the chest mandala, slowly, slowly to the kanta while praising the goddess Lakshmi or Saraswati, all our puja vidhana in Ganesh puja, Adha, Adhanga puja, Adhanga puja, Anga puja. Every part is worshipped, every part is looked at, every part is enjoyed. When you go to the dining hall, if they give you a cup of coffee, don't drink it, you don't enjoy it. Sip, sip it, sip it. Whether it is down to the earth or emotion, <coughs> when you do it slowly, you have the pleasure of it. 
you have the sweetness of it. Therefore, Vasistha says, Mana Prashamana Upaya. Try to slow down, slow down, slow down. And this slowing down is called Abhyas. Physically, slow down, slow down. You are able to feel throw the discus about 50 feet. Tomorrow, 51 feet, 52 feet. High jump, 4 feet, 4.1. 4.2, slowly, gradually. Same is the case in making love. Don't immediately go to the girl and tell, I love you very much. She will give you a slap. <laughs> slowly. First, you get her. Second day, give a chap, Cadbury chapter. Third day, you buy her bus ticket at the okay? Fourth day, buy the jasmines. Fifth day, you buy the new jacket or some such thing. Gradually, gradually, when the situation is right, whenever I look at you, I feel I am looking at an angel. <laughs> whenever I look at you, I feel that I am in the heaven. Slowly you develop the ten, uh, attachment, love, she will be happy, you will be happy. Slow down. That is what Krishna means by abhyasa by practice. In the modern terminology, nature, nurture. What is the nature? Instinctive. Nurture is training. There are the traits in us. There are the qualities in us. Trait means quality. The quality of looking at the girl. And that is to be slowly trained to be in a different way. Nature, nurture. You observe any child, the child of a few months passes the urine with both the hands, the child will be playing with the urine. It is its nature, Swabhava, Sahaja Guna, and the mother comes, takes the hands away, removes the place. Some people have the habit of sucking the thumb. And then the mother tries to nurture the baby. Dogs have dirty habits. Pet dogs are trained to overcome the bad habits. The pet dog does not urinate everywhere. The master trains. Like the dog, like the monkey, like the elephant, like the baby, the mind is to be nurtured. My mind is to be trained. Slowly, slowly you do it. This is what Krishna means by Abhyasa. Nothing is impossible. Wives can be trained to your habits. If the wife is very violent, it is the weakness of the husband. If the husband is not amenable, it is the weakness of the wife. There are hundred ways to mend the husband, bend the husband. There are thousand ways, ways to make the wife obedient. Many teachers find themselves unfit to control the students. Don't speak too much of philosophy. When you speak abstract philosophy, students begin to sleep. When you find the students a little drowsy, beautiful girl, <laughs> twinkling eyes, Ah, the boys, yes, man. <laughs> techniques, slow techniques. You should know the techniques to make the students understand you, follow you. You must understand the nature of your wife so that she can be obedient to you. What is the nature of the dog? What is the nature of the mind? Mind is fickle. And one is nurturing it. There is a lot of research going on. Is nature powerful or is nurture powerful? Nurture means training. Whatever may be the child, in Andhra Pradesh, there is a college. And the owner of the college makes the advertisements. Those boys and girls who have failed repeatedly in their intermediate or plus two, those who have got just a pass mark 35% in the qualifying examination will be given the first seat. 
What a challenge it is. Only 35% qualifying examination. And repeatedly you might have failed in the school. First seat will be given to that boy or girl who has failed and who has been able to succeed with the minimum mark. All his students are like that. And he trains them. Every year, the first 10 ranks of the university go to their students. Nurture, train, you challenge, you bring any boy. Within 10 days, I will keep him on the stage and make him speak beautiful English. Nurture, nurture is so powerful, training is so effective. We can do wonders by giving a training to anybody. In, an agriculturist knows how to nurture the snake god. Otherwise it gets curled up. He holds a small pebble at the end with a gentle thread and the snake god grows long. Same is the case with the mind, with the body. How is it some people are able to be slim, practice? How is it some people are able to be alert? How is it some people are highly energetic? Practice. Physically practice, emotionally practice, rationally practice. That rational practice is called Jnana Yoga. Emotional practice is called Bhakti Yoga. Physical practice is called Karma Yoga. Overall practice is called Raj Yoga. That confidence we must have, Abhyasena to Kaunteya. Therefore, Arjun practice. Two. This passion, detachment. What is it you develop? What is the at the end? In Bhajagovindam of Adishankaracharya, there is a stanza which M.S. Subhalakshmi did not sing, she did not like it. Of the 30 stanzas, she omitted that particular stanza. Nari Sthanatha Nabhi Desham Drishtva Maga Moha Desham Yetam Mamsa Vashadi Vikaram Man, why are you drawn to the beauty of flesh and blood? It's all from bones packed in four and a half square inches of white skin. What is it attractive in it? And the boy says, Oh, sweet honey. Is it sweet honey? It's a foul smelling saliva. The reality is dirty. The fiction is uh, attractive. My sweetheart, he says, because he is unable to see the reality. This Abhyasena uh, Kaunteya is first part. Second part, see the truth of it. Then you develop the Vairagya. Is this the girl I fell in love with? Is this the woman I was fond of? Is this the fruit? A friend of mine, he was very fond of roasted masal dosa. His wife was very much worried about the husband's health. He is diabetic, high BP. The doctors said, let him not eat in the oily stuff, roast masal dosa, etc. However much the wife said no, she said, he said no, he was going. She told me, I took that man to the same hotel, not through the front door, but to the back, back door. And when we passed through the kitchen, anywhere, only some hotels maintain it very, very clean. Otherwise, you cannot look at the kitchen, it is like a, a mini hell to go there. And those are, there is a frying pan, he has a broomstick to clean it. And then he wears only a towel with a large belly, dark body, sweat because of the fumes of the kitchen. Sweat is coming, sometimes phlegm is coming. With the left hand he will take the phlegm and drop it. With the right hand, he will be removing the sweat. With the broomstick, he will be sweeping the dirt. And then he will be doing that dosha. The oil was yesterday's day before yesterday's. And I took him there, reality. 
I showed him the reality. Then we went to the dining hall, restaurant, come on. Special masala dosa. Is that the dosa? No. <laughs> no, the truth. Vairagyena chakrikyate. When you are aware of the truth, you will like it. Abhyasa and Vairagya, both are to be put together. Sri Krishna is very particular. Sri Krishna Devaraya was very fond of cat. He distributed cat, distributed cats to all his people. Then Rama got also a cat. Please take care of the cats. They should grow very well. After one month, I will see they should be chubby, etc. Then all of them said, how can we feed the cats without the cows? Oh, it's cow is grand. How can we feed them without somebody to take care of the cow? Oh, that also is grand. All the parasatya everything grand. After one month, Tenali Rama, everybody was asked to produce their cats. Everybody's cats was fat. Only Tenali Rama was very, very thin. What? You are not feeding it well? What can I do, sir? Every day I am drinking milk, sir. It is not a drinking, sir. Is it so? Krishnadeva, I have brought milk in a pot or in a plate. The cat, looking at the milk, ran back. Why it is not drinking? What is the secret? Tenal Rama, the first day, brought milk, boiling, boiling, boiling. <laughs> the cat came, touched the milk, got its lips burned. <laughs> Second day, more boiling. Third day, more boiling. Never. No way. For generations to come, no marriage, no marriage, no marriage. Abhyasena to come Vairagyena chakrikyate Punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam, punarapi janani, yathare shayanam, yena samsare, kandustare, rupayapare, bhajimurare, enough, enough, enough. Enough of this mind, enough of this botheration, enough of this world. Let me have the Bhagavad Sakhakara, let me have the self-realization. That is the real power. Fight it out. Submit. Arbi Imyo. Raj Yoga is a mastery over the mind. Boosting the energy by through two ways. One is Abhyasa practice. The other is Vairagya. You can interpret it in your own way when we do some things in our life. Let us now meditate on Sri Krishna, the great master of Raj Yoga.